making my way to the top. Okay, so today I got a new surprise. Well, I'll have a surprise for you guys at the end of the video, number one. I'm the DIY queen. And so I wanted to feature an episode where I attempt to mix my DIY love with my love for hair. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna make a wig. It's the holiday season. <clears throat> And I don't know, like I wanted to get my hair, I was supposed to get my hair braided, but I missed my um, braid appointment or whatever. So now I'm looking like, you know, and I can't look like this for Christmas, you know, for Christmas, can't look like this for Christmas. I wanna show my process of making this wig and seeing how it come out, all right? And then like I said, the surprise will be at the end of the video. So let's go, all right? Mwah. This is actually like um, a stand for my backdrop when I use my red carpet and stuff. I'm gonna use that and put a towel probably here to make to thicken the base or whatever. Can you see? And then put the wig head on top of that. And we're gonna start sewing it in. So the goal is to finish it. I don't know if I'll finish the color tonight, but at least finish the wig um, tonight and maybe color tomorrow. We'll see. Another part of the video, but I'm just exhausted. That's why I have my face on, but whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys how far I got. It's going pretty good so far, you know. I think it's gonna be really pretty, especially once I color it. Okay, but I'm I'm almost done. I'm just I'm sleeping. I could push through, but I I don't wanna I don't want to. <laughs> and I'm off tomorrow, so I can finish it tomorrow.
finish. It's not bad. This is the inside of the cap, inside out. So you can kind of see all my stitches. I'm about to try it on. Actually, I have to do one more step. Wait, this right here is a part of the wig cap, but it's where the lace is. So, I'm supposed to cut. I'm gonna cut it kind of wide and then just go back and even it out. Cause you don't want to cut the stitches that you just that I just did. See how it's revealing the lace? So I need to just cut right there. Sorry, I keep bumping the table. I'm proud of myself though I did it, you know. Took longer. Not really, I just started later than I should have. I should have started fresh on a fresh day. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so next we're gonna try it on and see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna die. about the shape of it but hey whatever but for my first time making my own wig not too shabby okay let's talk about the hair it came in a pack of three so there were three bundles there was a 10 inch a 12 inch and a 14 inch and honestly because I, I'm going for a short look so the next wig that I do make I want to use like eight um, all eights and maybe a ten, two eights and a ten. But honestly, this is a bundle and a half. Uh, the name of the hair is called My Tresses. I do like, um, you see how like it has a nice little wave to it because this is the body wave um, texture that I wanted. But I'll admit, once I colored it, it kind of took some of the the wave out of it. So if you want, I would recommend going, you know, a higher brand of like um, unprocessed hair. But it's not bad. So what I did with this is I just kind of wand curled it. And then what I'll do at nighttime is like put a little lolly body on there and then um, do some flexi rods. And then kind of rock it that way to kind of bring the curls back because of the color. But other than that, it was, you know, a great experience. I will totally do it again. The takeaways is um, the YouTube videos that I watched were telling me to use nylon thread. I do not recommend using nylon thread because nylon, it's like a rubber band. So it has the same texture as a rubber band. So when you're sewing and if it's too long, it can kind of get caught up and then it gets tangled. Also, when you're brushing the hair, you know, for me, it was like I'm brushing some of that nylon. So you'll see little strips of it's not going to break, which is, I guess, a good thing. But it's still annoying where you're you, you're brushing this nylon thread that's supposed to be holding the track in. The other takeaway, I got an extra, no, I got a regular size cap, but I should have gotten an extra large just because um it, it will fit better you know what i mean as far as like fitting closer to my head or closer to like the cap is probably right here on my head when it should be here you know so that's you know that much difference it's not that bad but still for me i would feel more secure so what i do i wear this to work um 
what I do is I just put some pins in it to kind of make sure that <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, any other takeaways? I think I prefer going through the weft because I feel like when you go under the hair, it kind of causes gaps, unnecessary gaps. The next wig that I will be making will be a frontal. This closure is just where it's closing out a certain section of your hair. So a little education tip here. When you would get a sew in back in the day, some people would do leave out and they'll leave out this section, this much, the size of your hand of your hair and you take that and you blend it in with all the other hair that's been sold in your head so closure is the same thing it's closing up one section of the hair that is being sewn onto the wig cap frontals are different which i'm learning now that i think i like frontals better after this experiment the frontal goes from ear to ear and it goes from the front of your head of course until the middle of your head so number one you need less bundles for the back and then two you have full protection and coverage so you can part the, the front of the hair anywhere you want. So we're gonna try to do a frontal next time. And for the big surprise, I am now doing a new segment called Red Carpet Ready. And basically it will be where I will be doing reviews on different wigs, makeup, nails, clothing, shoes, any and everything that has to do with getting red carpet ready. I love red carpets. <music> So remember, make yourself proud and the world they'll catch on. Until next time.